Hey everyone, this is Good Gaijin Greg, and uh, today we will be playing The Last of Us, and I will be giving you a little view into my life and how I came to be in Japan, or at least the interest into Japan, and how I wanted to get out here. So, hopefully this goes better than the first time. As you can see, I am saving over a game. That's because I've played, like, the first hour and, like, the first, we'll say, 20 minutes of the video got cut off. So, hopefully this doesn't get cut off because I don't want to have to go through this again. If it does, I mean, sorry. I don't think I'm going to do it a third time, start the whole game over for a third time. But, so, I first became interested in Japan in high school. When I first went to high school, I met this guy, George. He's, you know, one of my best friends since high school. And he tried to get me into this thing called Pokemon and the way he described it made it sound so awesome he's like oh man Tommy, Tommy, you know after he's a certain point kids can go out and lose this job. Uh, they can I, hunt I these understand. monsters it's a, it's a world and it's, it's full of monsters these different monsters and dragons and stuff like that and people go out and hunt them and then they can you know, capture them and have them fight for them in these like crazy battles. And I'm like, oh man, that sounds so metal. Oh, I can't wait to get into it. And then I start watching it and I'm like, man, this is like, it's cool, but it's so cheesy. And you know, I'm seeing Brock run around talking about his trusty frying pan as a drying pan and all that stuff. And I'm like, all right, this, this probably isn't for me. So, the next thing he put on was a little something called Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z, specifically. And I fell in love with that. I fell in love with Dragon Ball Z to this day, even with all the anime I've seen up to this point. It's still, like, my number one. It's still my number one favorite anime. And sure, some of that is just because, you know, it was my first, and you never forget your first. It's still, you know, the characters. My favorite, of course, being Vegeta. Next favorite, Bulma. And then Trunks. Goku gets in there somewhere, but I've never really been a big Goku fan. Like, he's, I still, you know, like him, but I definitely prefer Vegeta. <laughs> But um, I got into Dragon Ball and got to see all that cool stuff. And because it was, you know, so long ago, there wasn't, you know, Hulu or Crunchyroll or anything like that, uh, Netflix. Sarah, honey, the way that you watched anime was either hoping that something now. was at Blockbuster or going to Hello? an import store and buying it and it had terrible fan subs and everything like that and what was just that? a quick aside look how gorgeous this game is one I love it every time a game puts an actual reflection in mirrors and it's just not the dirtiest foggiest most scratched up thing in the world like you'll go into a five-star hotel, but for some reason the mirror is just like someone took it off the wall and just did all the cocaine on it. So, um, I... So back to my story, they... Like back then you had to go to import store, so I got to see a lot of the things that weren't out yet so like as I got older eventually anim you know anime caught on because of a little something called Toonami 
but the thing is Toonami only showed certain things so they would show like the Dragon Ball movies and if you ever grew up watching Toonami you already know which Dragon Ball movies I'm about to say you would only get to see Dead Zone, Tree of Might, and World's Strongest. Those were the only three movies and they would play them all the time and it was always in like a big, you know, in a big block of, oh man, let's go ahead and show all the movies back to back to back for the entire weekend. Which was great, but little did most people know you could actually there was actually a lot more movies than that. So I forget where I was going. Where 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 do I live? Okay, let's go downstairs. What is going on? I don't know what's going on. This is my first time in this situation. I'm completely new to this. So it was really cool to eventually watch, you know, all the movies that most people didn't really know. And so I started reading manga because I already read, you know, American comics. And I started seeing, you know, the Dragon Ball manga. So I started reading that and uh, I would... I didn't have like a job at the time, I was still in high school, but I was actually going to tutoring. And at the tutoring service that I went to, if you, you, are, you know, did well on okay? tests and stuff, you would get points and accumulate enough points and you could no. go ahead and get Don't go near the like door. a gift card someplace. So I would always get a gift card to 10th Planet, which was a comic book shop that was in the same uh, shopping complex as the place that I did tutoring at. So eventually I stumbled across this really gorgeous manga and I'm like, oh man, it's got samurai on it and these cool watercolor covers and you know, the, the brush strokes are really, really cool. And it was a manga called Vagabond. Vagabond is the story of Miyamoto Musashi and how he went from being, you know, sort of this delinquent kind of scrappy, you know, kid to, you know, a soldier to being Japan's strongest swordsman. So I, I got into that and started reading that and then eventually I found out Miyamoto Musashi and the places that he went to and the people that he met they were all real people and that was really cool that was really cool to read a manga you know it'd be like reading Spider-Man or Batman and then realizing oh Batman's based off of this guy who would dress up like a bat and go around beating up people and so it was interesting to see a manga that was based off of an actual living human being. Well, not living at this point, of course. But, you know, a living human being in history. So I started, so like I bought the book, like the actual hardcover book that the manga itself is based off of and learned more about uh, Musashi. The book is called Musashi. And, you know, that he wrote the Book of Five Rings, which I've read. It's really good. Um, if um, I started learning more about what Japan is and what it's like and the people and some of the history and things like that. So, like, my interest in Japan didn't stop at, oh man, I'm watching this anime and the girls in high school are so cute and maybe if I go there I'll get me a waifu and baby 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 I actually educated myself somewhat I mean of course it's to a limited degree because I'm still young and still stupid but I did want to learn more about the place and so I 
realized this was a place that I wanted to go to. So I got, I, um, I didn't really have any, any way to, to get out there. So I eventually graduated high school and I went to, I couldn't figure anything out. So I went to junior college. And while at junior college, I went ahead and got tackled by some man and got mauled to death. And wait, that's anyone. Sorry to you know trail off, but anyone else? Play this game and was just like so into everything that was happening in this game. Like especially this beginning part. This beginning part is such an amazing, you know, bit of character and storytelling and you know some of the best zombie stories tend to do this where or at least the most fun. Like it, it at this point it's a cliche where you know, the person doesn't really know what's happening and hey. the world around them is slowly being torn apart. Like that guy! Get back. Get back. As they start to realize the situation that they're in. And this one, for anyone who has played this game, hopefully everyone has played this game that is watching this, or else, SPOILERS! If you're watching, you know, an hour-long playthrough of, you know, a game, I'm sure you're expecting spoilers of some sort. Yeah, get him. I'm here, baby. I'm here. Come, give me your hand. You want to kill my brother? You best kill me. What is it? So, How bad? Sorry, I you know went off on a little side piece about the game. It's just a, an amazing game. Great characters, music, voice acting, acting in general, uh, like the animation and stuff, and like the level of detail in the world. They just knocked it out of the park, and I'm despite the. Of course, you can't do anything without controversy nowadays, but despite the controversy of The Last of Us Part 2, I really am looking forward to it, and I'm glad to see many of the reviews are saying that the game is worth it. So, hopefully next weekend, when I'm playing that, I'll have a similar, you know, feeling for the game of how great it looks. I like how my brother is in there in like that bright red shirt. No one else is wearing like a red shirt just to make sure I can pick him out of a crowd. Despite all the hectic stuff going on. He's dead. Yeah, bitch. So, back to my story. Um. So yeah, I went to junior college, and while in junior college, I decided to learn Japanese. And I'm sure you're thinking, oh, that's cool, man, you know, learn that Japanese, so when you finally, I bet when you finally got out to Japan, you were fluent. No, 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 no. I was a bad student. He's gonna be fine. Mostly because I, you know, I got a girlfriend at that point. And, you know, not for nothing, but she was, she was P-shaped. Like, think of, think of what the capital letter P looks like. That was her body type. So I was much more interested in, you know, hanging out with her, and I ditched a lot of classes like an idiot. Of course, I don't even, like, honestly, I don't even remember her name. Hey. That's, and it makes me feel kind of crappy that I can remember her body type, but I can't remember her name. But, yeah, and we just didn't talk after, like, the, like, we barely dated for, like, a, like a month. Mostly because I did so bad in school. 
because I was hanging out with her. So, um, just been through hell. after I just need kind of failed out of junior college, because I'm so smart, I went to, um, I went to the Navy. And I'll tell you how that started after this, because this scene is oh no, something rough. Sarah. Move your hands, big. I know, baby, I know. God. Listen to me, I know this hurts. You're gonna be okay, baby. Stay with me. Wow, man. I'm gonna pick you up. I it's know, like baby. It's like seven years old, this game. Come on, baby, man. please. I know, baby. This stuff is still so well made. Sarah. Baby. Don't do this to me, babe. Don't do this to me, babe. Come on. No. No. No, 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 no. Please. No, God. Please don't. Please. Please don't do this. Please. Okay. Man. You guys remember the first time you saw this scene? The number of confirmed Did it tear deaths you apart has passed too? 200. Tore a lot Governor of people apart. A state of emergency. <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of bodies lying but I'm good now. I've seen Panic seen spread it worldwide after a leaked Not report from the World Health fall completely apart into a quivering mound of tears. With the bureaucrats out of power, we can finally but take back to my story. So Los Angeles I joined the Navy, the and I kind of joined it in a fairly unorthodox way. All residents are required to report One day, to the my friend George, here comes George again, day. and, winter and rations he, are at an he calls me, he's like, hey man, what's going on? A group oh, calling themselves the Fireflies have do. claimed so, responsibility for both attacks. Their public charter calls for the return of all so, branches of government. Demonstrations broke out following the execution of six more alleged Fireflies. I'm joining the military. I'm like, wow, really? That's crazy. Especially Remember given the time the frame, because it was like Look for the light. Believe in the fireflies. Right after September 11, so it was just like, wow, you're you're going in right after that, huh? And so he was like, uh, you you want to? He's like, I'm I'm planning on joining the Air Force, and. Um, I get actually a I'm bonus coming. if I sign someone else up with me. And I'm like, that's kind of, that's kind of crazy. It's like, oh man, you want to, you know, lure more. somebody else in here with you to sign their life away for four or five years? We'll give you a, like an extra grand. No. No. Like we both get like an extra, I forget, I think it was like an extra grand. Have some interesting like news that. for you. Where were you, but, Tess? Um, West End District. Hey, we so had a drop to make. He's like, hey, you wanna you wanna join with me? We had a drop. To I'm make. like, well, I well, just kind of failed out of remember. junior college. I don't have a job. Dad's on my back about the, uh, it, so whole yeah, deal I, went I, south, I guess I can made off with our pills. join with right? you. <laughs> I'm like, what branch are you going into? He's like, I'm thinking about going into the Air Force. Enough ration cards to last us and a couple of months. Easy. I'd, know a bit more about the military now, of course, but I'm like, man, I don't want to have to fly planes. I'm scared of heights because I'm an idiot, and I think everyone in the Air Force just goes around flying planes all over the place. That's every single person in there. That's all they do. No one does, like, desk work. It's all pilots just flying around top gun. It's all flying in volleyball. Our Robert. He knows that so, we're after him. He figures he's gonna get us first. I, uh, so I'm, I'm like, I, I, I prefer, you know, he's not water. Enough. So let's join the Navy. I know where he's hiding. Like so he's like, all right, do. fine, we can join the Navy. So Only we joined the Navy. And I joined in Can't February, long, February well, second, two thousand and two. I think, I think that's what it was. But I'm like, you know. The Navy travels a lot. I might be able to get to Japan. Finally, and see what, you know, see what all the hubbub is about. So, I go to 
boot Check camp and during boot camp hours left until curfew. which was actually a lot of fun it was it was more fun than i realized than i, than I thought it would be like outside of you know crazy stuff like doing gas mask training in like a tear gas chamber just so you know tear gas is way less fun than cartoons make it out to be it's basically just acid in your eyes nose and mouth burning lungs fun stuff um so we uh so yeah, like, you go through the training, and when I joined, I was actually underweight. Most people have to, are put on hold because they're overweight and they have to lose weight. I actually had to gain weight to join, because I was like 19 years old and weighed like 98 pounds. So I was a tiny, skinny little thing. I am not anymore. Seems like more people are getting infected. But I, uh... I went ahead and, let's see, what was I? Sorry. I'm like distracted by the game too. Um, so while we're, while you're in, you know, you go through your training, you go through, you know, I bulked up a little bit, but you take a test. You have to take a test to figure out what you're good at and it'll like depending on your score, you get to pick your order where you want to go, where you want to stay. So me and this guy, I don't even remember his name, but we like studied together. And uh, first off, don't tell people your dreams. <laughs> don't tell people your dreams. So I tell this guy, so me and this guy start studying together, and he's like, so where do you want to go? I'm like, I'm thinking, I want to see if they have any orders for Japan. So we're studying, and let's see, up and hold R2. Up, R2. Boop. They're going to close all the checkpoints. All patched up. We're gonna have to go around the Dirty outside. rags fix everything. Outside the wall. Or we so just I went the ahead door. and Cute. took the test. Hey Tess, you see that shit? And I was there. Hey, how's the East Tunnel looking? They it's clear. Asked, I just used so the, when it was time to start to? Gonna pay picking orders, they're like, too. all right, Who we're going to uh, Marlene? She's been asking put your her orders, to find him. like Marlene? you'll get the chance to pick based on how good your score was. Well, what did you tell her? And sure. they had like no orders idea. to, you know, Virginia you and San Diego. Military is going to be out and look at that. Yeah, see One around. set of orders for Japan. I'm like, yes, here we go. Hopefully I did okay. I did not do okay. <laughs> but I, Marlene, like I wasn't last. What do you make of that? But I wasn't uh, first. <laughs> you better find him before and I wasn't fight. in the middle. I was somewhere in the middle. But they start naming off people, and I'm, of course, this is us. clenched, clenched yeah. cheeks. Like, don't pick my orders, don't pick my orders, don't pick my orders. Yeah, it's been quiet. And so we get through, like, all, like, like a good chunk of the people. And it's actually getting close to me. About, you know about these Joel, orders and so I'm starting to get excited I'm like oh it looks like nobody really wants the orders to Japan I might look out turns out the uh, guy that I studied with actually he, he got one or two points higher than me on the, on the, oh, on the test God, this place freaks. I need to watch him throw away down here what orders do you think he picked he yeah yep 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 he picked the orders that I had been hoping for this entire time. So, the only orders to Japan, and he took them Our backpacks still right out from time. under me. So, yeah, I was a little butthurt about that one. So, didn't get to go to Japan. Went to San Diego, though. And eventually Virginia, and eventually many other places. Like, even though 
that right, sucked. I up. still got to see the world. I went to San Diego Damn. eventually. Like the place that I was at, the ship I was on was the Reagan, and it hadn't been commissioned yet. So it was in dry dock in Virginia. So I had to wait for that. And like while it was still in dry dock, I did a tour on the Roosevelt. And that was, you know, a lot of fun. Got to meet some great people. Really great people. Um, and, uh, Be careful. When am I not? <laughs> a trick question. They, when I got back, we went to the Reagan, and like I got on that ship again, and type. traveled some Anyways. more. And with all that traveling, did we go to Japan? Nope. China, the Singapore, here Greece, Dubai, Slovenia, Italy, uh, Brazil, Chile, Peru, lots of places, lots of places. Didn't get the, didn't get that. Uh, hey, try over there. Long dreamed of Japan though. What's that? Got it. Great, bring it over. I found a clue. So I went ahead and eventually decided, yeah, I think I'm done here. Lady, you must be thinking of I someone else. Did my five, enjoyed it, this honorable way. discharge. And when I got out, I'm like, you know what? Let's. I got nothing else to do. Let's go to school. You'll start seeing a pattern soon. Um, sweet chunks of metal. Nothing. So yeah, I decided to go to school and I decided to go to school for game design. And despite what commercials and movies like Grandma's Boy tell you, that is not what coding and programming is. Down it's not here. sitting in front of a TV playing video games as the game gets made. Lots of math. Lots of, you know, back, it be easy to lots Speaking of sitting at a computer, tick tac ticking away week. and... More pills, lots of ammo. I hated it. <laughs> hated it. Like I got to C++ and I was just like, nah, I'm straight. I'm good. I think I'm done here. So I got done with that and I, you know, did some other jobs like security, things like that. And then I, after a while, I decided to, I didn't have anything else going on. Didn't have a job. I live back home with a mom. And so I went to school. You okay? <laughs> Starting yeah. to pick up now? Damn ceiling's falling apart. Be yeah, I went to school. This way. So I this time I decided to go for culinary. And uh, unlike the programming, this actually I I took a shining to. I've always liked food, and I guess I've always liked cooking. What do you want to do? Because whenever I had, Poor bastard. um, like home ec, I would go in early, and I actually paid attention to. This was like one of the few classes in high school that I actually really paid attention to, on how to cook stuff and that kind of thing and I would actually take notes of the recipes and stuff like that so I, I actually took to it and I graduated with a culinary degree and I when I finished I got an I got a job in Florida well an internship mostly 
in Florida and that was a lot of fun. I got to learn more about cooking. I learned I don't want to start a restaurant. <laughs> you know, you, you go through the process of getting up every day super early to go prep stuff for the day and let's see if I can you know, take one of these guys out right from the get go yeah, bitch. boom alright that's all of them I'm the best back into the city. around. So yeah, culinary school. And so as my internship came to a close and I started working there, I ended up getting canned. And like it wasn't really my fault, or at least that's what they told me. I mean, I guess they could they could have just told me that I was screwing up and they didn't like my work or something like that, but, you know, they seemed to like me, and I was never late, I always came on time, worked hard, liked to learn, but they said that they lost a contract, funny enough, to the Navy, so they had to let people go, so, it, and honestly, it wasn't just me. Well, so, Bill to get you some of them air it's not like I just hey. got canned on my own. That'd be a good idea. So I decided, After you. since I was losing that job anyway, and I Cover the entrance. had yeah. more interests that I had, can you guess what I'm about to do? I don't have a job. I got nothing going on. What am I? What? What am I gonna say? <laughs> That's right. Everyone who's paying attention, Greg went to school again. <laughs> so yeah, I went to school for game art this time. So, and I went to a little place in Florida called Full Sail. And once again, got to meet some great people. It's a bit heavy. I think I can and I got to learn about, you know, All stuff right. like this. Gaming pipeline, how difficult it is to put this stuff together, and it made me appreciate the time and effort that goes into video games a lot more. Like, of course, we all have those here disappointments that we have, but I also try to be a bit more, I guess, forgiving now that I know how much work goes into stuff and how stuff can easily go wrong. <laughs> Anyone who's ever had to work in Maya, and it's like, all right, you've been working for 20 minutes, for 20 minutes, everybody save, every, every, everybody save. Because <laughs> who knows, you're gonna look up and pew, crash. There's 20, 30, 40 minutes worth of work, just gone. Make sure there ain't any soldiers around. So. Clear. After I graduated from, and yeah, I graduated from there too. After I graduated from Full Sail, I went ahead and got an internship at Full Sail. They were looking for, you know, former students to get some work done. So I ended up being an intern and I ended up working there as a artist for student games and it's way harder than I thought it was gonna be and it can be kind of tedious you know sure coming there working on the same art you've been working on for however long so but and around like I think my fourth or fifth year being there it started to drag a little, you know, sometimes no soldiers, the passion no for the job there. just isn't there anymore. But during that, those, those years, I put in 
a few resumes to see if I could, no, he's expecting. you know, get out to Japan. Well, that'll make it more interesting. Some of those teaching jobs that you always hear about. Jet and Eon and Interact. And one day I was at work and I got a phone call, so I stepped outside real quick. It's like, hi, Greg, this is Not right now, Terrence. No, 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 it's, it's good. So and so from now. Interact. And we got your okay. resume. And we were wondering if you would like to come in for an interview. And I'm like, wow, really? Okay, that's great. When's the interview? They were like, yeah, we, you got to come in and we're going to. You got to like, take a test and do all this stuff and you can, <clears throat> and if you pass, oh, and you have to do a, what, what, what was that? Just jump down, were you doing something that you had no business doing or are you embarrassed? Malik, sit down. Oh, sorry, guys. Sit down, my hand's not in my pants. Good, good for you. So. Who's that? An old headache. Don't ask. Anyway, so yeah, they're they're like, you come in and you have to bring like some materials to do, like, uh, like a quick. Ooh, a shiny. Guys been hoarding You're all a wanted poster. What are, you, what are you looking at? Should I? Oh, okay. I'm looking for Robert. <clears throat> Half hour ago. So. You went back to the war. I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted. Not? So yeah, you have to do a like a little teaching, you know, presentation. And they gave me, you know, a couple videos to watch. Like you can, you know, make a poster board and do this, or you can do these worksheets or you know, practice we go. flash cards or something like that, but you need to like have something to present. Let us and I'm like, okay, well, what day? Uh, yeah, it's Saturday morning. It was Thursday at the time, Thursday night, <laughs> or, yeah, th like Thursday evening. And I had work the next day. So, it's like, uh, okay, they're like, you know, if you, if you're too, if this is too soon, we can set up another one. And I'm sitting there, you know, racking my brain, like, oh, should I, should I just wait? Do, do I wait? Do I wait until they have a, a better opening, or what do I do? Uh, do I just put it off until like another time? Nicely done, Texas. And so eventually, I was just like, you know what? Just take it. Just friggin' go. Don't be a punk. Just do it. And so I did it. I'm like, you know what? No, I'll I'll go ahead and do the one on Saturday. So I went. I thought I did terrible. Like I froze up and got like this. <laughs> I, I had like this big old brain fart. I was gonna say, hey everyone, let's go over yesterday's definitions. And I forgot the word definitions. I forgot the word for words. <laughs> so I, but the, like the, the guy that was sitting in front of me, he helped me oh, out. Here, and I got back on track with things. And so they, more they said guys. thank you for your time you know after coming? you know talking to them and you know I was interviewed yeah, and they asked me you know why do you want to come right why do you want to go to Japan I'm like, well you know I got into it I got into Japan through anime and da, 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 da. but I eventually you know did more research on the place and I realized it's more than just you know cute pink-haired girl in sailor suits I meant to tell you and stuff like that so and uh, I guess the fact that I wanted to learn more about it helped me out like I don't know why they hired me but yeah they eventually did 
and um, they told me about all the different things that I need to do before going and all the stuff I had to fill out and paperwork and packing up all my stuff to get ready and then before I knew it I was on a 14 hour flight to Japan no way hold on Ow, you wiener. Boom. Headshot. Nobody likes you. Alright. Where are we going? Alright, right, 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 right. I remember because I had to start this whole game over. So, before I was able to get on the plane, we'll say two days before I was able to get on the plane, I was getting out of the car at Target. My, my brother and his girlfriend were in town to visit, to, you know, see me off because who knows when I was going to see him again. Oh, that guy is sturdy. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. So I. My brother and his girlfriend were in town to visit, to see me off and to help me pack and everything. And I was gonna give him some of the stuff that I had that I couldn't take with me. So we were going into Target and I was getting out of the car and all of a sudden I felt like a twinge of pain in my, in my lower back. I'm like, huh, that's weird. Like it, it wasn't too bad, so I just, yeah, shot you in the hip. Ow. Give me a second. Thank you. Ow. Thanks for making me use up all my bullets, you wiener. Hey. Wait, I don't have any healing items? Oh crap. I'm like pressing up like, where's, where's... Wait, I think there's some downstairs. Let me go back downstairs. Are you, you going to jump off of that, Joel? So, hop off that look. No, I can't heal with a bottle. Or at least it's not an empty one. There might be something in the next area. Thought there, well, maybe upstairs. Oh, good. We should have brought more people. They just slow us down. Yeah. I'm always right. I'm Joel. Come on. And I got a knife. The docks are this way. Let's do this. That's not a knife. Sorry. So I went ahead and got out the car, and yeah, twinge of pain in my lower back. Next day, I wake up, could not move could not move. Excruciating pain in my back. So luckily my brother 
girl was there and you know I had a roommate that cocky son of a bitch. and they helped me pack but I was I was scared you know I'm like don't tell me I won't be able to go because of my back so I laid in bed and I just tried to heal basically Oh, for the love of Kick his ass, sea bass. Sorry, I kind of got to concentrate. <laughs> Especially since I'm out of bullets. Boom! That guy got all of it. All the business. <laughs> that was nice. Ow! Is it cause I hit your friend? Did you? Did you? Did you steal my kill? You bitch! You saw me punching him. Made me think I was the strongest man in the world. I punched him. He went flying. That's messed up, man. So don't take my kill like that. Rude. I call you Rudy. Because you're rude. How did you not see me? Were you, were you trying not to see me? Were you like pretending? Like maybe if I pretend I don't see them, they'll just sneak away. Now that the room's clear, I can finish my story. So I went ahead and laid there and just tried not to try not to die. <laughs> and I eventually felt good enough that I could get out of bed. And I just tried to. Put your gun down. Take care of that, you know. And then uh, I got on a plane. It was a 14-hour flight. It was agonizing because it was a 14-hour flight. <laughs> Luckily, he gets trapped anyway. But yeah, I went ahead and the took the Robert. flight, and I ended up yes. Joe. being in agonizing pain, but no hard feelings, right? I was in agonizing pain transferring my you know, two, three thousand dollars into yen. Look, whatever and, it is you heard, it ain't you know, true, okay? I just want to the say, guns. take the good with the bad, I guess. Them? But yeah, that's yeah, pretty sure, much the story of how I made it from Look, just uh, hearing just about hear Japan through this. Pokemon to getting out here. And I think stop, this is a good place stop, to stop. end things. Quit your squirming. This has run on long You're enough. Saying. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, so and good. I will pick things up. Excuse Another day. I didn't have much of All a right. choice. Take I care out there, you guys. You owed us. Later. I say you bet on the wrong horse.